So once it was determined that Novascript Central would be would help solve the medication access problems in the clinics, uh, an executive director, the first executive director, Joanne Knox, was named, a board was named, and the group was incorporated. One of our board members was the director of pharmacy at Potomac Hospital at that time, and so he managed to get the hospital to donate some space to us in the basement, and we were able to open our first pharmacy in Potomac Hospital. We dispensed there happily for about a year with birds flying in overhead out of the shipping doors, and it tended to be very cold. Our pharmacists had to wear gloves in the winter time, but it worked out very well for us. Eventually, Innova, the Innova Health System, donated space to us here in their building. This is a building with some of their clinics are co-located with us here. And Innova generously built us this pharmacy, which we are very proud of. It has a window. A lot of pharmacies don't have windows to the outside, so we're happy about that. And it's, it's been a very good space. So we've been here about three years. And in that time, actually a total of about six years from the beginning in Potomac to the three years that we've been in this building, we've dispensed more than $20 million worth of medications for our patients. As a pediatrician, it's very frequent that I have to write maybe four or five or six prescriptions for one patient at a time, especially for certain conditions like asthma or diabetes or um, even for migraine. And sometimes each one of these medications has a specific cost and a copay that is really out of reach for most of the patients. Without an organization like Novascript Central, many patients would not be able to afford their medications. Um, and when you can't afford your medications, then you don't take them. And when you don't take your medications, your health suffers as a result of it. One of the big things that I try to focus on when I'm here is improving compliance or adherence to medication regimens. So, um, you know, if I see that a patient is coming in six months after their last refill, which was only for three months, then I try to take the opportunity to talk to them and say, we, you know, I noticed that it's been a, a long time since you've had this filled and is there something that we can do, something that I can do to make this an easier um, something that is more is easier for you to do on a daily basis. I think that um, in this day and age prescriptions are getting more costly, costs of drugs are going up, insurance premiums are going up. Um, we're seeing more and more patients have problems with adhering to their medication regimen because of high drug costs. So now more than ever Novascript Central uh, is fulfilling a really vital role in the community when it comes to maintaining the health of, of uh, these patients. The patients that we have here are who use the Novascript's um, service are um, all very, very um, thankful for um, being able to come here, pretty much just walk in anytime, place uh, refill requests, pick up their medications, and not just pick up their medications, but get um, get counseling. And um, I speak Spanish, so a lot of the um, patients that they get counseling in their own language, and which is um, which is nice for them, I think, as well. We are able to use a language line um, for patients who don't speak Spanish or English, um, which are my only two languages. So um, we, no matter what language anybody speaks, we can always give them instructions about their medications, um, answer their questions, and make sure that everything is going as it should be with their medications. My name is Cesar Rodriguez. Uh, I'm from Venezuela. I'm 52 years old now. I could say I'm a lucky person. I have my son here, Fernando. Say hi, Fernando. Say hi. Mom, I can play. Where are you going? I can play. You want to play? Okay, don't go too far. Stay over here. Um, I came here in 2008. Anywhere you go, it's a lot of expenses. You are humans. You get sick. You have accidents. I mean, and, and anything could happen. I was start working in a country club and I didn't have any insurance. I went there, we went there with a the kid that has his physical, and I, they asked me if I, if I had any kind of insurance. So they said, well, I, I, at the moment I had nothing. And they make me my physical exam and they find me, my blood pressure was high. <laughs> I remember that. After that, I've been receiving the service, the medical service, and not only the, the providers, but attention and the medicines. No script, and I'm really lucky about the service I received there because these people are fantastic. Because when in the reality in this country, if you don't have insurance, I mean, it's tough. Also, if you have kids, 
it's not easy, <laughs> but it's possible. Nova Script Center wants to provide the best in pharmacy services to our patients as good as or better than what they can get out in the insured world. Nowadays, it's a serious problem when a family has to decide whether they can afford their prescriptions or whether they should buy food for their family. If they can't get their medications, um, then the, medic the medical care that they're getting isn't really going to result in any positive outcomes. So it's really to all of our benefit to make sure that these, the most vulnerable patients medically in our society are also taken good care of. Hopefully, well, we are working in order to improve our life, in order to educate our kids and have a better life. But you never know, because sometimes you could be in the hills, sometimes you could be just right there. And you never know. But life is life. Life goes on. You have to be prepared. Thank you. You have to be prepared.